It was meant to be a protest over the ban on concealed weapons on college campuses. Thousands of students from around the nation wore empty holsters to classes, except at Tarrant County College in Texas. A student there says the school banned even the wearing of empty holsters outside the campus free speech zone, which is a 12 by 12 foot concrete platform. So did this violate the students' constitutional rights to free speech? With me now, Defense Attorney Monica Lindstrom, as well as Anita Kay, who is a former prosecutor. Anita, the school within their rights? Yes, Trace, they were. The empty holster that the students wanted to wear, they, they're supporting concealed weapons on school campuses, and they want to wear this empty holster. Now, when you see an empty holster, you look at that, you don't know if there's a gun in there or not. You start to think there's a gun nearby. Yeah, ex it, except it Monica, when, I see, when I see 200 empty, empty holsters because it's part of a protest and it's not just one guy walking around with a holster. I mean, this was publicized. They knew the students were going to do this. These empty holsters were very symbolic and everybody was privy to the fact that there were kids carrying around empty holsters, right? Monica? Yes, absolutely. And this case isn't about a gun or not. It is about the student's right to symbolic speech. Just like you said earlier, Trace, in 1969, the Supreme Court ruled in the black armband case mm -hmm. that the students were allowed to participate in symbolic speech and the school could not stop it from happening. That's exactly what we have in this case. He wants to protest a band. He's wearing an empty holster. There's no safety concerns about this at all. He should have been allowed allowed to do it, and when the school told him he couldn't, they stepped over the line and they violated his rights, just like the Supreme Court found back in 1969. Right. But Giving I gotta tell you, I, I gotta tell you, Anita, I'm kind of finding it, I, I agree with you, it's kind of difficult to figure out the correlation between a holster, wear it on the outside, worn on the outside of your, of your clothes, and a concealed weapons kind of thing, right? Exactly. You're, they, want a, they want concealed weapons on campus. How does displaying an empty holster symbolically is that a proponent for concealed weapons it's an opposite it doesn't even correlate and seeing the holster they wanted to carry these go into the classroom with right. the empty holster it wasn't just a protest out on grounds they wanted to go into class with that so people who aren't aware of it other students see someone coming into the classroom but, with an empty holster right. and you can't even tell if it's empty could cause huge panic in the classrooms but the flip and side their of concern this, is for student safety and this by the way was was founded in the wake of Virginia Tech I mean students saying that they should be allowed to to carry concealed <clears throat> weapons and there were some 600 schools having these protests Monica and only one said no so I mean you know this school's got a this school's got a, a whale of a of a of a you know people it, on has, side. it has a problem because yeah. it violated symbolic speech it, it has to do with guns in the sense that holsters carry guns it's symbolic that's the whole purpose right. of symbolic speech you can't talk about concealed weapons in any other way. So the holster is symbolic. The school stepped over the line, Trace. Anita, 10 seconds to you. They didn't step over the line. The fact that the other schools didn't do it, this school did and they took the appropriate action. Their concern is for the students and for their safety and it could have caused a panic by showing that empty holster and students no. not knowing what that's all about. Not they did all. the right thing. Absolutely. Uh, not at all. Anita Kay and Monica Lindstrom, ladies, thank you both. Thank you, Trace.